Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 16 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new object removal tool. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my new videos. Follow my social media in the description below to keep up to date with my latest projects. This is a great new tool if you want to remove objects from a video that you don't want in shot. Event videographers will find this tool useful when you have to capture moments fast and might not have time to move camera bags and gear from shot because you might miss a moment. So let's get into the tutorial. So this is a little establishing shot and I um, accidentally left my camera bag in the shot, my minimalist camera bag. And we want to actually remove this to make it look like there is no camera bag. So let's, let's do that. So all you need to do is go down to the color tab and what you want to do is you can either right click and go into add node and add a new corrector node or you could press shift s and that'll create a new node for you you want to make sure that you're in the window tab and just go down to this pen tool let's just zoom in onto this bag and let's just cut out a rough shape You want to make the mask pretty close to the object that you want to remove. There we go. And you want to check the keyframe mode for corrector 2. Let's go frame by frame with the right arrow key and just adjust the mask. Luckily there isn't too much movement in this shot. Our mask is now tracked to the bag and we just want to go to um, our open effects and we want to search in objects, yep, object removal. Let's just drag and drop onto the second node or the corrector. Then we just go to scene analysis and it's processing. Yep, so we've got this gray box. All you need to do is go down to clean plate. I prefer to use internal and then you can just click build play and now it removes the object I mean, if you zoom in you can see there's a little bit of a glitch it's not really sticking very well so what you can do is let's just um, go right click and add another corrector node just once we add a new corrector um, we want to basically bring over the mask that we've done over to this node so all you need to do is just click and drag over to the blue arrow put the object removal onto the new corrector node do a bit of a scene analysis once you do this your computer is going to slow down a fair bit um, but it kind of builds another clean plate on top of another clean plate to help smooth out any little bumps or glitches that might come up then all you need to do is just go to build clean plate again So that's how you remove objects inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So I have played around with a few different shots and this object removal tool isn't the greatest for removing objects from complex scenes such as a busy background. Let's just open up another timeline. Here are some of the shots that I have played around with. A bit of a complex shot so there's water and I was actually trying to remove a duck. But once I use the object removal tool you can see that it takes like a still image, it doesn't detect the moving water in the background. For example, the sunglasses reflection shots. I mean, it does, it does an okay job except for the end. But once you get to the last frame, you can see it working pretty well. So it's a little bit glitchy at the moment. This, for example, you would think that it'll detect the bricks and continue it on from here. It doesn't actually like stick to the scene. It kind of 
moves around and shifts around a little bit inside of the window. To finish off this video, I would like to say although the object removal tool is great for simple shots at the moment, it also has the potential to become much more powerful with future updates and hopefully we can see an improvement on high detail backgrounds and parallax movements. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial video and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like if you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys next time.